Hi, today we're going to show you how to maintain your RockShock boxer roll cap. We are going to disassemble lower leg, upper leg tube, lube it all, and change lower leg oil. By this way, we will obtain a soft and sensitive fork behavior. To do that, we will use a 2 mil key, a 1.5, a 4, a 5 mm, a 24 mm spanner or an adjustable spanner, a nylon hammer, a sealing to measure the suspension oil, suspension oil itself, oil grease, and a jar. First thing is to loosen lower legs from upper tube. It's nice to use a socket to avoid hitting the lower end directly. We will use a tray, just in case oil leaks. Once there is no oil inside, we can clean oil seals. Although this boxer fork is almost new, it is recommended to clean and grease oil seals because they are almost dry from factory and suspension stroke is not as soft and nice as it should be. To open the air tube, remove the air cap and release air pressure. Now remove the compression regulator.
and remove the cap. If you can loosen the cap because all the tube is turning around, use temporally the fork lower crown and tighten the tube more or less at this distance. Tighten the clamp bolt a little bit and remove the fork cap. It's important to lower the front end of the 24mm socket with a lathe or similar so to keep it totally flat. The standard sockets have a step and it's possible to then the tube cap if the socket slips while loosening. Now you can remove the lower crown. Now remove the piston from under side. Clean it thoroughly and remove the o ring. Now inspect that all O-rings and seals are in good condition. And apply a light coat of grease to the O-rings and also to the piston seal. After that, apply suspension oil to the piston seal again. Now you can install carefully the piston into the tube. Check that everything is ok and install the snap ring. Once the snap ring is installed, you will notice it has position. Place it correctly so it can turn and jump out.
Now spill 5 ml of suspension oil into the air camber and now it's ready to be closed. Now you can tighten the tube cap and install the compression regulator. Now we are going to grease the seals and spill oil into the lower tubes. Grease the seals thoroughly. It's a good advice to apply oil between the dust seal and the oil seal. Now, being careful not to pinch the seals, install the tubes. Before closing, we're going to spill oil into the lower tubes. Rock Shocks recommends 15 milliliters of Psi 15.
Once done, compress the lower tube so to approach the thread to install the bottom bolts. Tighten them and install rebound regulators at the bottom. Install the red one, the small black plastic washer and the small regulator. Now check that both regulators turn freely and correctly. Now you know how to service your RockShop Boxer World Cup 4 and make it work really smoothly. Hope it helps and see you next video.